Hello and welcome. My name is Christian Kajigal, and this is Obscura. Obscura is the time where strange things may happen here at the Penn TV studios. And if you'd like, and you stick around towards the end, you can have some fun yourself, right from your own home. But right now, before we continue, I'd like to introduce two friends. We have here Allison. Hello. Hello, thank you for joining. And our friend Bob. Thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Have a seat, please. Uh, they've uh, agreed to um, let us experiment with them and uh, see if anything fun happens. Uh, Bob. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, actually, for both of you, I have here these little baggies, and they have little strings on them. If you wouldn't mind wearing that around your neck. Okay. And Allison, if you wouldn't mind wearing this one around your neck. Thank you very much. Thank you. And try to resist the urge to peek inside them too early. Okay. All right. Um, Bob, uh, there's some special items in this box, and they are for you. Um, this may be a little weird, this may be a little strange, you won't exactly know what's going on, but just um, try and keep up. We'll do. Ready? I'm ready. We have here an ink pen, an old skeleton key, and a coin. Now, Bob, mm -hmm. this is gonna be a game, a game of choices, yours. Choices you're about to make for reasons even you don't know why you're about to make them. That having been said, without even thinking about it, grab one of those three items now. Excellent, put it back in the box. Very good, pick up another one and, and give it to me. That one. And pick up the last one for yourself. Great. I'm gonna give you one last chance. Do you wanna switch hands right now? Do you wanna take the coin and I take the pen? Yes. Yes? All that's your, your choice. Mm -hmm. So for the people at home who may have not caught on, um, you, you decided to keep the, 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 coin. the coin. You decided to give me give the, the, pen. the pen, which means in the box you put the, the key. And all that was your choice. Mm -hmm. If you'd be kind enough to very carefully open up that little bag that's been around your neck the whole time. Inside there's a, a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Pull that out, open it up. And read it out loud for everyone. <clears throat> Make sure you hold on to that. Okay. Free will has been taken. I am holding the coin, you are holding the pen, and in the music box is the key. And it really does say that? Can we, get, can we get that for the camera? Coin, you are holding the pen, which I am. And in the music box is the key. That's really freaky. <laughs> That's really freaky. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, hi. Hi. Can we try something with you? Yeah. Um, there's also something very special for you inside of this box. Okay. It's nothing you can see. Um, I'll try to explain. Uh, I have here a book. It's an old book of plays. It's an old book of Shakespeare plays. Um, now, you know, with Shakespeare, there's tons of words, words that he, even he made up. So as the pages go by, you can easily tell these are all different page numbers, different words, different strange words. Mm -hmm. Yes? Um, actually, just... Turn a little bit towards me. And uh, do me a favor, plant your feet on the ground. And put your hands on your knees. And take a deep breath, out through your mouth. <clears throat> this is gonna be a little game of imagination. Okay. Ready? Take a moment now, 
and just focus in on the sound of the music in the box. Let your imagination just float and drift on all of those musical notes and just allow yourself to enjoy that. Now, go ahead and look up at me. I'm gonna flip through the pages of this book, but just go ahead real quickly, say stop. Stop. Now, can you see the page number in the corner? Don't say what it is, but can you see it? Mm -hmm. Now, is there a word uh, close to the page number, like right next to it at the end of that top line? Yes. And is, is it a good word? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more time. You can clearly see the image of all of that right now. Yes. Good. I'll leave that right there. Okay. Game of imagination again. Your head is an old time projector. Your eyes are the lens of this projector and inside your head is a whole lot of film containing this page number and this word. I am your movie screen. Pretend, just pretend you can project the image of the word itself right onto my face. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. First letter's an M? No, no uh, it's a W. Um, the next letter's a, it's not the S, that's the I. The next letter's the S. The word's wish. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now the page number, okay? Just like before, ready? Go. Uh, five, no, the five's at the end. Is that an, an eight? No, break in half, it's a three. Uh, page 345. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Kind of weird, huh? Very weird. Um, you know what's weirder? Hmm. I didn't really read your mind. What did you do? <laughs> you kind of read my mind. Hmm. Allow me to explain. The entire time I had you focusing in on the sound of the music in the box and just floating and drifting on all those musical notes, I was actually trying to use my imagination and project something onto your movie screen, into your imagination. So if this worked, it wouldn't matter which page you stopped me at. You could have stopped me at page 745. I was hoping the only thing you'd be able to see is the word wish and page 345. Okay, you're a little disbelieving. Um, do me a favor, go ahead. Go ahead, take the pages. And just slowly flip to page 345. Now make sure, look, all those pages are different, yes? Mm -hmm. And make sure you don't miss it, oh. What happened? Where did it go? Where did it go? Page 345 has been ripped out. Um, that little baggie has been hanging around your neck this entire time. Mm -hmm. Very carefully open up the little baggie. And very, very carefully take out the delicate thing that's inside. What is it? Page. It's a page from a book. Three. 345. Four, five. Can we get a nice tight shot of that? And is that, is this, and then that's your word wish? Is this what you were looking at just a minute ago? Yeah. And you will notice that the torn edges do match Perfectly. Thank you, Allison, very much. So, uh, if you'd like, please come back after the break. We have more coming. In fact, you get to participate in some of the magic yourself. You are going to need to find your own key, your own pen, and your own coin. They don't have to be fancy ones like mine. Any ones from around the house will do. Find these things during the break and come on back. See you soon. <laughs>